loves. As you can see in front of me, we're gonna be doing something very creative today. And the whole reason why is because of my clumsy self and the fact that I cannot get rid of my favorite Lululemon sweatshirt that I spilled coffee on last week and now is covered in these really ugly stains. Instead of dwelling on it, I'm gonna turn this negative right here into a positive and you and I today, we are gonna be tie-dyeing. We're gonna have fun. I've never tie-dyed before. I've always wanted to. So I say we get started. Let's try something new. What you'll need is something to tie-dye, dye, salt, rubber bands, gloves, scissors, a plastic bag, bucket, and of course, water. So step number one is take what you're gonna dye and just wet it. And the reason for this is because the dye will actually stick better to the fabric if it's a little damp. And make sure you wring it out so it's not soaking wet. So I just cut my trash bag in half for more surface area. Lay it down on my workspace. Now we're gonna prepare the dye. Now because I am no dye expert, I'm gonna read the directions very carefully. So I got my gloves on. And also a very important tip, if you get dye on your clothes, it will stain them. And so that's why I'm wearing this really ugly shirt with a stain on it. I highly suggest wearing clothes that you don't care about. My instructions said mix two cups of very hot water around 140 degrees Fahrenheit, then add the dye solution to the bucket, and then add one cup of salt. Stir that around, get all the salt dissolved. To finish it off, fill the bucket with enough hot water for fabric to move freely. Now you're gonna put all your rubber bands around the piece of fabric that you're gonna tie-dye. Start in the center and just kind of twist it. Twist the fabric. So it kind of gets like a circular look. Now, I'm gonna wrap rubber bands around it. We put our rubber bands around the sweatshirt. I might have gone a little crazy with the rubber bands, but because it's only a one color tie dye, I think the more rubber bands, the cooler it'll look. So let's try this out. Now it's time to start tie dyeing. Take your tie dyed fabric, put it in a plastic bag so that it doesn't get tie-dye everywhere, and you just let it sit overnight so the tie-dye can really get in there, and then you take it out and you rinse it with cool water, and then voila, you should have a really cool tie-dyed sweatshirt with no stain. So let's let this sit and then we'll come back and check it out. Okay, the moment has finally arrived. I've now let it sit all night. Now I can open it up and let's hope it's tie dyed. We're gonna rinse it with cold water first, and then take the rubber bands off. Cold water. I really hope this works. Hey, the water's not blue. Let's watch this magic happen. Okay, literally I was scared, but I'm sorry, I think this turned out cool! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself right now because I did not think this was gonna turn out. And hello, I just made the coolest jacket ever. Look at it, I turned my stained sweatshirt that I spilled coffee all over into now the coolest sweatshirt ever. Have fun tie-dyeing, and please post your pictures of whatever you did tie-dye below, because I would love to see them, and I hope you guys have fun. Bye.